In this video, we're going to create yet again another stem and leaf plot. But in this instance, we're going to be looking at uh, data values that are in the hundreds or greater. Because in previous videos, we're saying, well, you know, when you create a stem and leaf plot, maybe my data set is like 20, you know, 25, 26. 30, 38, and 42. Uh, in these instances, when you create your stem, we would be putting the leading digits out here, like the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s, but what does one do when you have data values such as 325? How do you treat this situation, okay? And so what we would do is actually, instead of having a leading digit, we would treat uh, the stem, uh, or at least we would consider the stem to include the three and the two, we would have leading digits and in the leaf we would have the five here. That is, in the number 325, we would say that 32 is in the leading position, and then we would just say that five is in the trailing spot, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at this data right here that is just random data. Uh, as a matter of fact, and I will point this out to us, it's already in order, so that's gonna kinda help us out here. So you would put it in order first, but what we're going to do is create our, excuse me, stem and leaf plot, where in the stem, what we're going to do is we're going to put leading digits. So for instance, I see that I have a 32 here. We say 325 would lead with a 32. This would lead with a 32 here. This would lead with a 33. So this lives in the 330s range. This lives in the 330s range, 330s, 340s. So we say 3, 4. So 340s, 340s, and 340s. All we need to do now is go and put in our leaf portion of this. And so we could say that really when we represent this, we get 325. Okay, and we get 327. And I don't have anything else that lives in the 320 range. So check, check. We say 330, so 330, 332, 335. I don't have anything else that lives in the 330 range. So now we talk about the 340s. We say 340 would be 341, 345, and 347. So you can see how we would read this here is 325, 327. 330, 320, 32, 335, 341, 350, 45, and 347. Okay, we could read through this rather quickly. Uh, but that is how you do a stem and leaf plot when you have, uh, you know, sometimes more than one leading digit. Cheers.